week 28 of the Healthy Happy Pregnancy video series. Um, today, the focus is on showing you a little circuit that I just finished doing, actually, and I wanted to share it with you because I think it kind of, it demonstrates what kind of exercise is really crucial to be doing, I mean, all the way through your pregnancy, but certainly now in the last trimester, um, which I'm in. This, this is all about functional exercise. Now, you might have heard the term functional fitness um, bandied around before, but if you think about it, um, preparing for motherhood is a very functional role. So what you're doing now at this stage in your pregnancy is preparing you for the function of being a mum. So whether you are a first time mum like myself, or if you already have um, a, an older baby, toddler, or even a much older child, if you think about it, just because you're pregnant, your life doesn't stop. You are constantly preparing for what's to come and carrying on with your daily activities. Um, so by way of example, what I mean is all the stuff you're doing in the gym or your sitting room or wherever you're, you're doing your workouts at the moment is all trying to replicate what you're doing in real life. Um, so for example, if you're bending down to pick up your baby, that's a squat. If you are picking up their um, carry cot or their child seat, you know, you're squatting down to pick it up and then you might be lunging forward to put it into a car or turning to put it into the car, pulling the child out of the car in their car seat, pushing a shopping trolley, carrying heavy bags and lifting them up from the supermarket. All of those things that you'll be carrying on doing after you've had the baby. So my role is to try and get you working to be fit for motherhood and to make sure your body's moving well and not just to have you standing doing a few little exercises all in one static position. We want to get you moving and rotating and we want to do that safely protecting your core. So what I'm going to do today is just show you a little circuit I've done. If you cast your memory back, if you've been watching all these videos from early on, I started off maybe in the earlier part of the second trimester doing series about here's some really good work for your glutes, here's some really good work for your upper body. Whereas now at this later stage, I'm really looking, as I say, at encompassing the whole body in each workout. So not working as intensely on a really good leg workout or a really good back workout, but working all of those muscle groups in big compound movements that prepare you for your role as a mum. So we want to just go a little bit easier on those muscles. We're not looking for mega burnout. We're looking for function and fitness. Okay, so I'm going to show you... Um, just one round of my circuit that I've just done and then I will show you a few different regressions you can do. Okay, so starting off, um, I started with an uneven squat, so holding a weight in one hand. This is to replicate, for example, carrying shopping bags or carrying the baby in a car seat. Um, so I'm just going to use here this really small, this is a four kilogram baby bell as I call it. So even if you're not used to lifting, a small light weight in one hand is not going to be difficult. So you're going to do your squats here, just coming down, holding that weight in one side, but keeping your body straight, okay? So you'll notice I'm just moving straight up and down. I'm not leaning towards the weight, so I'm not allowing it to pull me down, or I'm not compensating the other way. And then I do the same on the other side. And if you watch me from the side, again, I'm keeping my torso up, Exhaling as I stand up, squeezing my glutes, and I'm trying to keep nice and upright. So I would do, say, six on each side of those for the start of this circuit. Then, bending my knees to put it down, we move on to some upper body work. I'm going to do just a standard row. You'll have seen me do these before. These are fantastic because they really work the upper back. And what you can do with your row, I've just hooked mine over the exercise bike, you can hook it over a banister. I want my knees soft, squeeze the elbows back behind the body, but if I move slightly to one side, keep my hips square, this now becomes slightly rotational. And what I'm finding is that this means I'm working my obliques slightly, these muscles here across the waist, without any kind of crunching movement. So this is ab work, this is proper core work as well, as everything it's doing to my arms and my back. And again, I'll just come to this side and do some more reps here. Okay, lovely. Then I'm gonna come into some lunges. Again, lunging is so important for your glutes, 
but also for your core and just a really functional exercise. And what I'm going to do is as I lunge backwards, I'm just going to pull that band apart. So as well as everything that this lovely lunge is doing for me, this is releasing off my chest and it's working my upper back. So this kind of move gives you tons of bang for your buck. It's not just a straightforward lunge. And again, if you watch, I'm stepping down. If I just turn directly to you, you'll notice I'm stepping straight back from the hip, not crossing my leg over where I'll be unstable. So stepping back, squeezing that band, and getting as low as I can. And again, I'll do 12 of them before moving on to the next exercise. Next one involves a little bit of pushing and a little bit of balance. So I'm going to carefully lift up. This is another four kilogram weight, just a dumbbell. You can use something even lighter. Um, you can do it without any weight, to be honest. You are going to stand on one leg and you are going to reach forwards, pushing the weight away from your chest. So this is essentially a one leg deadlift move. Pushing that out. This is great because I can feel this all the way down my glutes here, so it's working down this supporting leg, but I'm also getting work in my upper body as I push this away. So I'm now going to show you from the side, standing here, pushing out, pulling the weight back in. Good, like so. And again, I'm doing six each side within each circuit. So pushing out. But as I say, if you're unstable, you can do it without any weight and just reach. That reaching action is lovely. Now obviously you'll have heard people say you shouldn't do anything that might make you fall over and lose your balance when you're pregnant. That's more talking about you know, show jumping on a horse or skiing, things like that that are much more high risk. Standing on one leg and balancing is actually really good for you while pregnant. If you are very wobbly though, of course, hold on to something. So I'm holding on to my bike here and just do it reaching with one arm. You know, you can still get that same movement. I push forwards, pull back. And of course, while you're doing any of these exercises, use your breath. I'm integrating those pelvic floor exercises that I've spoken about in the past. And then the fifth and final exercise I put in today's circuit was a band pull down. This one is just straight for the upper back and shoulders. And again, you might have seen me do this before. But I'm taking the band above my head. Don't worry about anybody who says you shouldn't exercise with your hands overhead during pregnancy. It's kind of fine. Unless you have very high blood pressure or preeclampsia, I wouldn't worry too much. So I'm taking the weight above my head, I'm squeezing my bum tight, and then I'm pulling that down, bending at the elbows, keeping my chin lifted, so I'm trying not to drop my head, and pull down. This is great really gets the upper back working nicely. Let me just show you from behind, squeezing that band down to the middle of my back. And again from the side, keeping a nice straight torso pulling down. And again, 12 of these works beautifully. I've probably done a few more in demoing those. Okay, so that's a little circuit. And I would typically do, depending on how much time I've got, how hard I feel like working, probably three or four rounds. So starting with my squat, lovely. Going into my row, moving that around a little bit, squeezing the shoulder blades into that lovely lunge, opening up the chest, 12 of those. Into my reach, with or without a weight, six each side, and then pulling on that band. Now if you don't have a band, you can actually stand with your back to a wall and do what we call a wall angel. It's the same move, but you just pull your fingernails down the wall. Now obviously if you're one of those fingernail down the back blackboard phobics, then you might not like this exercise, but you want to keep your arms in contact with the wall. Your feet will be about six inches further away, and you just pull the hands and arm down the wall. And actually, even without any weight, that really works those lovely upper back muscles and it really opens the chest. So I would suggest those five exercises, 12 of each, but again, adjust it, do what feels right for you. Take a little pause after each round, so it's five exercises, pause, maybe for a minute or two, have a sip of water, and then repeat 
two, three, four times, depending on your ability and how much time you have. So I've been doing that kind of workout about three times a week with some light resistance, um, sometimes a little bit heavier than what I'm using here, sometimes not. And um, I'm walking every single day, even if it's only for half an hour with the dogs. But I just think walking is so important. It keeps your pelvis mobile, it strengthens your glutes, which helps your lower back, and it keeps you in good posture. And then once a week, I'm doing my yoga, which is a pregnancy-specific yoga class as well, one evening a week. And that's my routine at the moment, and that's working really well for me. You might be doing slightly less, you might be doing slightly more, but there's an idea of what you should be doing um, to keep yourself functional and fit and ready for motherhood. And that's in week 28, so I will see you next time in week 29. Thank you for watching. Bye.